Hey guys, this is Sparks, and I'll be showing you guys how to download and install um, Industrial Craft for Minecraft 1.4.7. Um, if you go to the website when you first click on this video, um, it will say 1.4.6, but 1.4.7 was uh, a very little change to uh, 1.4.6. They didn't add very much to the game, and uh, I'm pretty sure that Industrial Craft just didn't update their... Uh, mod because they already knew that it was compatible with 1.4.6. I'm not really sure why they didn't do that. But um, if you download 1.4.6 from Industrial Craft, the website, it will work with 1.4.7. As you can see, I am in Minecraft 1.4.7, as you see on the top uh, left hand corner, all the way in the top, I am 1.4.7. And um, I, I am uh, using the Industrial Craft mod. Um, so in Industrial Craft 2 is actually the name of it from the website. But uh, it adds macerators, electric furnaces, iron furnaces, uh, and nuclear reactors solar panels it gives you a lot more redstone to do um, I mean there's just so much in this mod that you can do um, you know wrenches and it's just crazy you know a lot of uh, copper cables and bat packs and you, there's a lot of batteries a lot of things to do with batteries and generators in this mod so it is uh, very complicated and um, this is not in any way a tutorial um, on a review on the mod. I'm just uh, I'm just here to uh, install the mod, so I'll be installing the mod now. All right, guys, to install Industrial Craft for 1.4.7, um, first thing I'm going to ask you guys to do is I want you to go to Options and Force Update Your Game and push Done, and I want you to log in. What this does is it deletes those mods that you might already have installed, and uh, if they are installed, they might not be compatible with Industrial Craft um, or um, Minecraft Forge because you will need Forge um, so you guys always want to update your Minecraft because if you don't and you get a black screen that's because you had mods that weren't compatible and I can't help you you guys didn't follow the video um, so you guys really need to update your game and have a new uh, clean version of the dot minecraft folder so you make sure you update your minecraft also because then you'll be in 1.4.7 which this video is for um, if you guys are watching this and it is a version after 1.4.7, um, it is the same download for uh, for for all of them. I mean, it's the same for any uh, version of Minecraft. But this is currently for 1.4.7. So we're um, after you have force updated your game, you want to make sure you close out of your Minecraft. You always make sure Minecraft is closed when installing mods. Alright, so if you guys haven't already done so, um, go to the description and Minecraft Forge, you need to download that. You need to download um, Industrial Craft 2. Um, like I said, if it was from the website, um, I'll go to the website right now. Um, the website will say Industrial Craft. Um, it will say 1.4.6, but as you can see, uh, it was working in 1.4.7. Um, I'm not really sure why they did this, but uh, I just downloaded right here. So if you go to the, in, this, this will be in the description. So if you download this, it will be the same files you see right here. All right. So to get started um, with installing mods, um, this you will need Minecraft Forge and Industrial Craft. I will also have too many items and Optifine. Um, too many items and Optifine are not required for this mod, but I do recommend them. So. Well, you want to go down here to start, so go to start, and you want to type in percent A P P D A T A. That's percent app data percent. Okay, so now you will see either um, run, so you click run, or you see the roaming folder. You want to click on the roaming folder. You want to, and then on the top you will see uh, the dot Minecraft. So you want to click on dot Minecraft. You will see bin resources saves and uh, everything else. Um, so you want to go to bin and you will see a minecraft folder you want to right click on minecraft and you open this with winrar so if you guys don't already have winrar um, the link will be in the description so you need to download and install winrar 7-zip uh, will also work but I always use winrar so you will see a folder called metainf you always want to find this folder and delete it make sure you delete metainf metainf doesn't allow your mods to run in your minecraft game um, so you want to leave everything open um, so you'll see in minecraft right here um, this is your minecraft.jari that you open with WinRAR. Uh, if I can move it over enough, but um, you want to open Minecraft Forge. So you open Minecraft Forge. You want to move this aside. You want you will also see MetaInf here, but you want to make sure you leave that there. I'm not really sure why, but you always leave MetaInf in Minecraft Forge. You want to select all these files. You want to drag them all over to your minecraft.jar that you open with WinRAR. Now you will see that this um, takes a little while longer to download, and it will probably take a little while because it is such a huge folder. 
full of items. It has a lot of things Microforge does. So you guys want to let this um, go, go through. It's called processed or whatever. Now once this is done, you want to click OK. Now you'll say like uh, it's replacing folders or whatever. You always want to push OK. So after that's done, you can exit out of your Minecraft Forge. And you'll move this right here. So um, now you will... Um, that's all you guys need to do with the Minecraft uh, dot jar that you open with the WinRAR, and that um, so you can close out this. But just for um, I guess it's for the sakes of the mod, um, I will be downloading um, too many items because it, it is a uh, it's a great thing to have with Industrial Craft. So you just want to select all and you want to drag these in. Now, like I said, this is not required for this mod, but it is helpful. Now I um, I will also download Optifine. This is Optifine 1.4.6, um, the HDUB1, like I said before, it also works from 1.4.7. So I'm, I'm going to also select all these, and I'm going to drag these in here. What Optifine does is it reduces lag in your Minecraft game, which I always really need because my Minecraft will lag without it. But uh, like I said, guys, it is not required for the mod, so you don't have to download these two. Now you're done with the Minecraft.jar that you open with the R, so you can exit out of that. Now you're back into your. Um, if you go back one, you'll be you'll see the bin resources, saves, and everything else. If you guys have exited out of this, what well, all we did was we went down to start and we typed in percent app data percent, and that's when we clicked on the dot Minecraft folder. So now that you're back here and you want to, um, if you guys don't already have a mods folder, you will want to right click and you will make a new and folder. And you want to call it MODS. That's all under all under caps, and it will just say mods. So you want to either push enter or click on it or whatever. But you want to open the mods folder, and you want to drag in industrial craft into the mods folder. Now that's all you guys need to do, and that is finished with installation. Installation, sorry. So once you click on the Minecraft, um, you guys do need internet at the first time. So make sure you always have internet, and uh, because Minecraft Forge will not run the first time without internet. So um, you always want to let this go through. This is the Forge um, setting up your Minecraft environment. I'm not really sure why it does that, but it's just kind of like a loading to your game. So you want to make sure you let that go through. And if you guys are stuck at a black screen right there, um, or after this Mojang thing, it's because you guys uh, probably had mods installed and they're not working. So you always want to make sure you force update your game and follow exactly like I did in the game. So we'll create a new world, we'll go to creative and we'll put in super flat. Um, I'm not sure why, and I'm hoping this doesn't do it, but sometimes whenever I create a new world, my Minecraft will crash. Um, it might do it right now, I'm not really sure, but if your Minecraft crashes and it gives you like a loading report, don't worry. Um, just click X and um, go back to your Minecraft and open it again. I think it's going to do it because it's loading. Um, I'm not really sure why, but every time, the first time I try to make a world, it doesn't work. So. And it always gives that crash sign. But like I said, just exit out of it and go back to your Minecraft and open it again. Um, this is loading and it's taking a long time. So I'm going to skip ahead in the video. And as soon as it's done loading, I will come back. Alright guys, so once you have logged in, either you got that Minecraft crash report and uh, just exit out of your Minecraft or it loads right up. So um, as you can see, I am now in the game and we'll turn off too many items um, if you turn off too many items you just click O or uh, yeah right next to P you just push push O and I'll close that so I can uh, click on this but as you can see industrial craft is uh, loaded and um, yeah and uh, like I said we are in 1.4.7 so um, if you guys are having problems make sure you rewatch this video and follow exactly my steps and uh, if you guys are still having problems, leave a comment in the description. I will help you as best I can. If this did help you, please like um, or subscribe for more. And uh, let me know what kind of mods you guys want installed or that are your favorite mods in 1.4.7. Thanks.